So looking at the primary UI issue, a lot of the problems stem from like non-standard behavior, especially on Mac platform. And it seems like Xamarin solves a lot of those problems out of the box because it's built to run cross-platform. It's you know had a longer life than Xamarin. And as far as creating new issues, there's more community around, sorry, not new issues, new features, there's more community around a standard practice for doing so. And then lastly, you can put it on mobile, which is something I'm just interested in, but not a necessity. OK, so I let uh, Dan reflect on that. But before that, I just want to say that, yeah, it's 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 so late in the project that uh, that a uh, systemic rewrite of the UI is 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 just just not even out of consideration, you know. But uh, mm -hmm. feel free to do do whatever you want, you know. It's open source, <laughs> so yeah. go ahead, Dan. Thanks. Oh, go ahead because your uh, Dan is one of the maintainer of Avalonia, so be careful of what you're talking about. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, no worries, no worries. I mean, I uh, fully understand your concerns. And actually, uh, it, it, it might be nice also, like maybe you might be interested in helping fix some of those issues that uh, are difficult on, on Mac. And, and Avalonia kind of has su uh, experimental support for iOS and Android out the box. and um you know it, it probably wouldn't take much work for somebody to fix up those those back ends and, and just get it to run on ios or, or android pretty quickly you know if uh um but yeah but i know examiner informs is also a good platform um but yeah but as uh, far as practicality tor is definitely the biggest issue that i see running on ios in particular and android mm -hmm. Um, did were you um, were you tr testing it on Mac? Did you say quite a lot and having some difficulty? Yeah. What what kind of uh, issues were you coming across then? So, the concept of quitting doesn't work in particular, and also the I'm not sure what you call this, but the like the taskbar that would typically go on top stay as part of the window rather than integrate with the system? Yeah, both of those issues are actually the same problem. And okay. I'm currently working to get that fixed in the next release of Avalonia. So it will have the quit menu integrated with iOS and have the, the file menus. So that's, that's the primary one. It's pretty minor. Yeah, yeah. It's um, But for a Mac user, it's what you expect, right? So it, if it doesn't have that, it kind of it doesn't look right, and it doesn't sit right in in OS X. So yeah, it is one of the um, that's one of the main contributions to Avalonia that I'm gonna. Well, it's it's halfway done now anyway. It, it just needs finishing off. So uh, the other issue I didn't mention is that it's unsigned. So you have to you have to know how to open the program. It won't let you open it unless you right click and then scroll to open. So for a typical user that's not familiar no. with that or not capable of doing a proper Google search, they just won't be able to open it. I've had two people who I've introduced the software to run it on Macs and be very confused as to why their system won't let them open, which I, I think is that. a signing issue. Yes, yes, let me reflect on that because that has nothing to do with Avalonia. Mm -hmm. So the main thing is that we are building the releases not in the cloud, but on Windows and on Linux because they work nicely together, but Apple doesn't uh, to work together with op other operating systems. So the problem is that we succeeded to fix everything that to to implement everything on Windows and Linux in order to roll out releases on on to to Mac, but only one thing that we couldn't find an open source alternative, which is the Apple's sign tool, uh, which means if you don't sign the software with Apple's sign tool, then uh, the OSX gatekeeper is going to complain. So 
what we have to do for that, and we are planning it. It's just uh, not there yet. Is that we have to we have to some to incorporate some kind of Mac into our release process. Uh, either build the whole thing on Mac, or just just make sure the sign tool, uh, or just run the sign tool through the. We have to do this in a secure way. Probably there are ways. It just uh, yeah, it just. It it just works, so it's it's not an architectural issue or or something like that. You just you have to make it work. Yeah, that's the issue there. Roger. 